Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be kind of filming a what I eat in a day style video. And I'm just going to put a massive disclaimer here before I even start. So I'm not on a plan that's been provided by a nutritionist. I've got no idea what I'm talking about. I'm literally just going to be sharing what I do. And that is literally it. So I'm trying to kind of get more into the gym. I spoke about this previously, but like, oh, just being busy and being stressed kind of puts like a stop to things sometimes. So I'm trying my best to kind of get back into it, eat really healthy, just tone up a little bit. Yeah, all that good stuff. So I thought I'd just talk you through my breakfast first. So went to the gym with Steve this morning. I did an upper body session, I'm pretty tired. So just wanted a really quick, easy, protein filled breakfast so I just got a protein shake so I put about 200-300 ml of oat milk in it I put a few scoops of the protein world slender blend chocolate flavor which is really good actually that stuff and then I just put about 30 grams of oats in there as well so just trying to get in some protein and some carbs after my workout basically I wouldn't say this is like my first choice of breakfast, but I realized I don't really have any food, so I have no idea why I'm filming this today. But I am gonna have this, gonna like have a shower, freshen up, and I'm gonna pop to Iceland to grab some of this as well. Oh, I also, I'm gonna have some strawberries because that's the only fruit. So normally in my shake, I would actually have like frozen banana. I always have frozen banana in the freezer or frozen courgette is actually really good to add to shakes as well because there's no taste, you're getting in your greens and it just kind of thickens up your smoothie. It makes it taste more like a milkshake. So I'm just gonna have this instead. Yeah, so totally not prepared for this video. So I'm gonna pop to Iceland. And so I'm not vegetarian. I haven't really put a label on this. So. Basically, I don't, I don't really eat meat. So this, so far this year, I've only had meat literally like a handful of times, hardly any. And I have addressed it previously that I wanted to reduce the amount of kind of animal products that I consume, partly for loads of different reasons. Uh, let's not get into it. But it's just a kind of lifestyle choice that I've made, and I don't want to label it and say that I'm vegetarian, this and that, because I still want to be able to have meat when I really crave it or yeah whatever <laughs> but yeah I, I really haven't been craving it to be perfectly honest there's literally been I think it's been about four different occasions this year that I've had meat and I have I do eat fish every so often so I probably have fish a couple of times a month I've had fish a bit more this month just because for some reason I've been really kind of craving it and I don't know whether maybe it's because something's missing in my diet that I'm craving it but yeah I figured if I'm craving it I'll have it but I don't need it on a kind of daily basis like I used to I used to have meat like two or like probably two times a day and I just thought it was really unnecessary so I do try to kind of eat pescatarian-y vegetarian-y style diet and then I try and reduce just as many things as possible so like my milk choices I'd have oat milk or soy milk or almond um, depending on what I kind of fancy yeah just trying to cut down a little bit so the reason I want to go to Iceland is because they have loads of really good kind of veggie alternatives and I love stocking up the freezer because it's just so much more convenient I am a recent convert to Iceland because I just don't think I realised how much stuff they had before. I thought it was just like loads of just frozen stuff, but they do fresh produce as well. Yes, I know I live under a rock, but I just had no idea. I've never lived near one before and now we actually live near one. So yeah, I'm going to go to Iceland, show you the bits that I've got and kind of talk you through my go-tos, what I like to kind of cook for meals, stuff like that. Right, so I just got back from Iceland. This isn't my full shop. This is literally just a stock up because I didn't have that much in. So 
just topping up the fridge and then we'll do a proper shop later on in the week. And oh, the sun's come out, it's bright now. Yeah, one really cool thing about Iceland, and I never knew this before I started shopping there, that if you spend over a certain amount, which I normally do, they deliver it free next day and you don't have to subscribe to a delivery pass, you don't have to pay for delivery. I think it's 35 pounds. Yeah, 35 pounds. And also when I went today, another thing I didn't realize as well, there was an old lady in front of me because the Iceland that I go to don't have their own car park. So I had to park up the road. So it was a bit of a workout actually carrying this to my car because it's really heavy. But the lady in front of me, she basically did her shop in the shop and then they kind of packed it for her and put it to one side. And then they kind of said, when do you want us to deliver it? So you can go in, into store. So if you don't have a car or anything like that, you can go into a store, do your shop like normal, pick out whatever you want if you don't want to order it online and then choose a delivery slot for that day. And I think you have to spend over 25 pounds to have that done. I'm not sure, but I just thought that was really, really cool. And I've never heard of any other supermarket that does that. But anyway, I'm gonna talk you through the bits that I got. I got some of these. I shared these on my Instagram and so many of you guys asked me where I got them from. So, Iceland, I got them from Iceland. They're the Kenko Ice Latte Sachets. I think last time I got the coconut ones, I couldn't remember. I got the vanilla ones this time. This is like a little bit of a kind of sweet treat for me. I mean, I don't think these are the most healthy things to have. There's probably a lot of crap in them, but the whole thing about when I'm trying to eat a bit healthier, I try and cut back, but still allow myself to have little things and little sweet treats and stuff like that because I have a sweet tooth. So I basically like to kind of allow myself to eat the stuff that I want, but everything in moderation. So this is like a little treat for me to help me through the day. I won't have one every single day, but these are really cool. They do them with salted caramel as well. And you literally just mix it up with water, chuck some ice in it. Steve made one for me last time and he actually put it in the blender with some ice and it was incredible. So I got those. Steve is an absolute carb monster. His favorite thing in the world is bread. So they actually have their own like baked section. They have loads of stuff. This was in the clearance. So it's still kind of like fresh, but it was only 50p. So I got a massive loaf of tiger bread, thick sliced tiger bread. So we'll keep some of it out and Steve can have that and then put the rest of it in the freezer because most of the time he toasts it. So it's not so bad. I got some black seedless grapes to stack on. I got a pot of cork. One thing I do quite like doing is kind of making more like creamy pasta sauces, but kind of substituting things. So using something like cork, it's really high in protein. It's naturally fat free, it says. So it's kind of like a cheese, but it's like a cross between a cheese and a kind of yogurt. Yeah, but anyway, I quite like using it for cooking. You can also just eat it straight up, have it on crackers, whatever. It's just quite a nice way of getting protein in. And because I'm not eating meat really ever, I try and find other things that I can maybe have instead that would be higher in protein. So like I said, I do try and reduce what kind of animal products I have. So where I can make swaps and have, you know, like oat milk, I'll do that. but it doesn't mean that I've completely wiped it from my diet. Got sweet potato fries. These aren't as good as just doing it yourself. Obviously you kind of chopping up a sweet potato, seasoning it yourself is far more healthy. They do add a lot of things to this kind of um, stuff. They put things like raising agents in it and things like that. So I would always just rather do it myself, chop up some potatoes myself, but I do like having stuff in the freezer as a kind of backup. So I always have something like this as a backup. Got some nanas. So like I said, 
I quite like having some frozen so I can put them in my smoothies and stuff. But what I'll do is I kind of leave these out. If they get eaten, they get eaten. If they don't get eaten, they start to go a little bit brownie. That's when I kind of slice them up and put them in the freezer. And I literally just have a Tupperware of kind of fruit that's on the turn that I can just freeze and kind of save it for, for a rainy day for a smoothie. I got some southern fried corn burgers. I don't think I've tried these ones before. So what's cool with Iceland is they do branded stuff and they also do their own brand of stuff as well. I've never tried these ones in particular, I don't think. But I know Steve does like that kind of style of like a breaded burger. So I got them more as like a happy compromise for the two of us. These are my favorite. So these are the bird's eye green cuisine meat free swedish style balls bowls so it says they're rich in nature's pea protein these are so friggin good i love these i could eat these every single day and they're just really quick to cook as well you can just like fry them in the pan for 10 minutes and they're done or chuck them in the oven yeah oven for like 13 to 15 minutes they're so so good i've had a few of their different things and i think everything's pretty good but the meatballs are definitely my favorite so stocked up on those so these are some of iceland's own range of stuff so these are the no bull burgers so i got some of those kind of breaded type burgers i personally prefer more of like a meat substitute burger so these ones are just like fake coarse pounders but yeah, they're just plant-based patties. Like, looks like meat, tastes like meat. It's just not meat. You can kind of see it through the packaging there, what it looks like. So it looks like a beef burger. So again, these are really quick to make as well. You can just cook them from frozen, pan fry them for seven to nine minutes. And there's 13 grams of protein per 100 grams. And a burger is 113 so there's over 13 grams of protein per burger which really isn't too bad for like a meat substitute another one for steve steve for loves pizza and we tried this one before it was really good so iceland do like a vegan range of pizzas so they have this one which is a hummus base there's no cheese on it at all so it's just hummus and then they've got like tomatoes kale it's really good. And then they do another kind of Mediterranean one, which is just like a plain tomato base. So yeah, got one of those that we can have as a treat at the weekend or something. I got a big bag of carrots because one thing I'm loving to having as a snack at the moment is actually just carrot sticks with some hummus. Can't go wrong with that. And I can't remember what the term is. But you know food that you have to chew a lot makes you feel fuller so I find having carrots like if you're really really hungry and just want a snack that's going to feel like it's really filling you up having carrots is great because you will chew and chew and chew and feel like you're eating a lot if that makes sense I also got a couple of bags of basmati rice I just think again this is just really handy to have in the cupboard if you're in a rush just chuck them in the microwave and you can quickly cook it up like i would just cook up a pan of kind of meatballs fake meatballs and like veggies just chuck it on really nice and quick and easy that's one thing i try and do is try and kind of have healthy stuff but i don't have a lot of time to kind of prepare everything so convenience is key And then I also got a gigantic bag of potatoes. So this massive bag is only like £1.50, I think. And this is what I was saying about the whole sweet potato fries. So I would buy a big bag of potatoes and I would just chop them up, make wedges myself. I'll kind of spray them with the light oil spray, chuck them in the oven for like 20, 30 minutes and they'll come out really, really nice and crispy. So that is my go-to, but the sweet potato frozen fries are like just a backup plan. But yeah, I got quite a lot of stuff and all of that stuff came to, I think it was 20 quid. Like I said, that's not my whole weekly shop, but 
that's going to keep us going for quite a while and i do just love stocking up the freezer making sure that if we do run out of stuff there's always stuff in there that we can just sort of like chip into and yeah prepare stuff pretty quickly so the time now is quarter to 12. it's that awkward time i'm feeling hungry but it's like a bit too early for lunch so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to have some carrot sticks and some hummus also, I feel like this question may come up. So do I track what I eat when I'm like properly trying to, you know, not restrict myself, that's definitely the wrong word, but when I'm trying to be more aware of what I'm eating and stuff, I do track what I eat. I've said this before, so I'm not really hung up on my macro, so I don't really have goals of how many carbs I eat, how much protein, but I try and be as aware and kind of in eat intuitively, like stuttered so much, eat intuitively. So I try and get in as much protein as I can, especially when I'm working out and doing weights. And yeah, I just think at the end of the day, for me, I don't feel like I eat unhealthy. I feel like I just eat too much because I'm a foodie basically. So what I actually do is I more kind of just try and make sure my calorie intake isn't too much. And I don't want to share with you how many calories that I'm taking in because I feel like it's very much personal to me and every person's going to be different. Everyone burns cal calories differently. Everyone's like a different size. They have different requirements. So I don't feel like me sharing what how many calories I take is particularly useful because everyone is so different. And I definitely think if that's something that you struggle with, then totally get the advice of a nutritionist or someone to help you write some sort of meal plan. Like I've had that done in the past and it has been very, very helpful to kind of keep me on track. So I kind of know what I like doing, what's realistic for me. I find that tracking all of my macros and everything, I just, I just find it too restrictive and I get bored and I, it frustrates me. So that doesn't work for me. What I find is that I kind of just need to allow myself the things I really crave, but in moderation. So that's literally it. And I just like to think of it simply as calories in, calories out. So if I'm working out, if I've had a really good workout that morning, I'm gonna eat more. But obviously if I haven't worked out that day, if I've not moved, then I'm going to reduce my calories slightly to kind of accommodate that. But I am just trying to move every single day. And it is quite difficult because I work from home. I find that if I don't go to the gym, I'm just sat at my desk all day. So I'm obviously I walk Rocky every day, but I try and make sure that the days that I'm not going to the gym, I'll take him on a longer walk and just make sure I'm kind of keeping my body moving. But anyway, yeah, I would definitely go check out Iceland, I was living under rock for, had no idea how much stuff they did, especially if you're looking to go vegetarian, vegan, or just reduce your kind of like animal product intake, then go check it out because they've got some really, really good stuff. And obviously having the next day delivery is so handy. And I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't know about it before. So I would go check them out. I'm gonna have my carrots and hummus now and yeah do you know what i just completely went off on a tangent and forgot to tell you what i used to track my calories and stuff in i can't put anything in yet but i use an app called life sum so it just kind of looks like that i don't know if you'll be able to see it so it just breaks it down into like your breakfast your lunch your dinner your snack any exercise you did I have an Apple Watch, so I track all of my workouts and how many calories that I'm burning, so I can kind of put that in there as well to give me more of a guideline of how much I should be eating each day, depending on how much I've worked. So yeah, I just put it in and I just kind of roughly track my calories. I've said this before, but I don't overly put in everything like vegetables and things like that because... I don't think you're gonna get fat from eating a carrot. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like, yeah, I don't I don't think it's healthy for me to be so stringent and track absolutely everything. I track all of my kind of proteins, carbs, things like that. Things like fruit obviously have a lot of sugar in, so I would track fruit, but my veggies, I just think there's they're not very calorie dense. And vegetables are good for you. You shouldn't be restricting yourself on vegetables if anything 
I try and bulk all of my meals up with vegetables to make sure that I'm feeling really, really full. So yep, yeah, that's just how I do it. Right, we are back from our W-A-L-K. Um, just went and took Rocky for a nice long walk. And what time is it? It is 20 past one. So I'm gonna make some lunch. And because I got the meatballs earlier, I can't stop thinking about them and I'm craving them. So I'm gonna have these. And I'm gonna kind of, I've got some leftover Dolmio sauce. This is the no added sugar bolognese sauce. So I think I'm just gonna do that with some like mushrooms and peas, kind of mix it all up and just have it with some rice. I've got some work to crack on with, so I don't really wanna be spending loads of time cooking, to be honest. Um, and I did wanna mix in, I got these things that it's kind of like a, I guess it's like a chili con carne-esque bean mix. So bird's eye do these. I forgot to pick some up today, so I'm absolutely kicking myself. They sell these at uh, Iceland as well. Um, so this one's a chickpea and spinach one, but they also do a kind of bean mix as well, like a kidney beans, chickpeas, all that kind of jazz, which is great to mix in with things like meatballs and that kind of stuff. So I did want to have that. It's also a really good source of protein as well, but I forgot to get some. I don't really want to add this. I don't know why, but it's because it's got cauliflower in it. Um, yeah. Also, when I was rummaging through my freezer, I thought I'd share this. Got these from Iceland as well. So they're basically bags of rice but vegetable rice so they do loads of different ones i think they do cauliflower these ones are the broccoli curly kale spinach kosher and seaweed so they're literally just little bags filled with greens and you can just chuck them in the microwave but if you're someone who really struggles getting in sort of like your vegetables and things like that having something like this is great and you can cook this up mix it in with your rice actually i might do that anyway yeah i might do that but when you mix it in with rice, you don't really taste it. You honestly can't notice it. So I think I'm gonna add one of these just to kind of make sure I'm getting really full. I'm gonna stay full for a long time and getting my greens in. Right, I'm gonna cook it and then I will show you the finished result. Okay, so I've cooked my lunch. This is like the biggest bowl of food ever but most of it is actually vegetables. So I did four of those meatballs, the sachet of kind of like greens. I've got some pieces of sweet corn in there, some mushrooms. So it's really bulked out with vegetables. So I know it looks like a lot of food, but it's actually mostly vegetables. And I've got one portion of the rice here and there wasn't actually that much tomato sauce left in the jar, but I'm gonna tilt this camera down. Yeah, so I know this looks like a lot of food, and it is, but this will keep me full for so friggin' long. And I mean, I had a protein shake for breakfast and I know it had oats in it, but this is a far more substantial meal to keep me going through the day. Right, so the time now is 10 to five. So on a normal day, I'd actually have lunch and then have a kind of afternoon snack. Because I had such a giant lunch, I just haven't been hungry. Just taking a break from work now, so I thought I'd make one of these Kenko coffees just to keep me going until dinner. There's a kind of, it's not even that I'm really hungry now, but I just want, I just want a bit of something just to kind of have a break from work. I'm just gonna go out in the garden, have a coffee, do a little bit more, but do a little bit more work before Steve comes home and then I'll oh, cook dinner for both of us. I thought I might run you through some kind of snacks that I normally would have, I guess. So, carrots and hummus, obviously I had that this morning. I'd have like grapes, fruit. These are also really good. These are the Rye Vita cracker breads. So, each cracker is only 20 calories. Steve hates these and say they taste like cardboard. And I do get what he's meaning, but 
I actually really like them. I find they're a bit like rice crackery, um, but I mean that with like a bit of peanut butter on with literally anything like that quark that I got earlier. I do like rice cakes with um, kind of cream cheese and like cucumber is really good. I am also addicted. These probably aren't the best, but Belvita, I freaking love Belvita with like a tea or something like that. So again, if you crave sweet stuff, I find it kind of handy to have stuff like this in the cupboard so that you can kind of get your craving, but not overindulge or binge on anything. But anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna have my coffee now and I'm gonna show you how I make it actually. Well, I've never made it this way. Steve made it this way for me and I really liked it, but I don't wanna tell him because I don't want him to get too big headed about it because I was really specific about how I wanted it made because I didn't want lumps in it. And then he basically just made it even better than I told him how to make it. So let's keep that a secret. So they come in little sachets. It does really bug me that they come in sachets like this. I find it really unnecessary. I wish they kind of just did it in a pot because honestly, I find all this packaging really wasteful. So I don't have to use a sachet every time because it's, it's honestly so freaking wasteful. So I've just got my blender full of uh, just tap water and ice. That's just gonna chuck the sachet in here. And then I'm just gonna blend this up. Look how nice, that, you can't really see it because it's in a green glass but it's like really nice and kind of creamy and frothy. So I think last time I got the coconut one, I honestly can't remember. Yeah, this is different to the last one I got. This one's still nice though. I like both of them. Coconut and vanilla are the two kind of like flavors I normally go for. And like I said earlier, I think they do a salted caramel, but caramel's not really, it's not really my kind of thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna sit in the garden, enjoy this, give my eyes a little bit of a break from looking at the laptop. Um, oh, where are my glasses? So I thought it'd be really good to actually show you guys my glasses. I wore these in a video the other day and I had quite a few questions about where they're from. And actually these are blue light blocking glasses and I've spoken about it on my Instagram before, but these have saved my life. So because I spend so much time working on either my phone or my laptop, my eyes will literally be burning by the end of the day. I'll get headaches. I'll get really bad like brain fog. And I basically heard about glass. So I'm watching Rocky in the garden. He's like playing with a mushroom. Um, anyway, so I'd heard about these like blue light blocking glasses and how basically all of the kind of light that comes off of your like screens and stuff is blue light and it really fucks with your eyes and it's really, really bad for your like brain function, literally all these different things. And these glasses, these ones don't have a prescription and you can get them with a prescription, but basically what they're meant to do is just block out any of the nasty light. And I found this brand on Instagram. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just, I love these, so I just want to share them. So I think it's called Amber Eyewear. I'm gonna leave their Instagram here. I know there are other brands that do very, very similar, but I was kind of a little bit hesitant buying them because I thought it was just gonna be a bit of a fad, or I thought it'd be like a placebo effect where you kind of think, oh yeah, like these are amazing, oh my God, they're working, and they're really not but genuinely these do really work. So for anyone who does spend a lot of time in front of screens, I would 100% recommend. I actually said on my Instagram the other day that I went for like a week or two without wearing them, purely because I was just being lazy and just kept on forgetting to put them on. And honestly, my head at the end of the day was just feeling like, so heavy and I was feeling like exhausted. And I know that sounds really odd, but it does really, really affect your eyes and the way you function. So yeah, 
any sort of computer bunnies, definitely invest in a pair of these because they will save you so much bother. Yeah, little weird rant story over. I will check back in with you guys when I am making dinner. Right, so Steve just got back from work. It is quarter past six. So I put the oven on, I'm gonna start making dinner. Steve came back from work, started to make a sandwich for tomorrow and he's gone again to go get butter. Uh, so I'm gonna start cooking anyway. I'm gonna do potato wedges, so I'm gonna just chop these into kind of wedges, spray them with the light spray oil and put a bit of salt on them. We're gonna have burgers, so I'm gonna have these no bull burgers from Iceland. And then I think I'm gonna cook it up with, I think I'm gonna do this, I don't know. Thinking about having this chickpea and spinach mix with lentils and cauliflower. I don't know, I've already had loads of veggies today, so I don't feel like, you know, I had about a million and one vegetables in my lunch. So I'm tempted just to have it with baked beans because I love me some baked beans. We've only got a small can left. I just get the no added sugar baked beans. But yeah, baked beans are still really high in protein. Oh, what's going on with my hair? I think I'm gonna go for baked beans a bit. Like this stuff is good, but it's kind of more if you're doing curries, it's like lentils in it and stuff. So it's better for that rather than just having it as a kind of side vegetable. So I'm gonna do baked beans instead. Okay, so I've chopped them all up. This is the stuff that I use on them. It's just the Fry Light One Cow Spray. Just give them a little. And then just put on a tiny bit of salt. And they should go nice and crispy. So I just chuck these in the oven, 200 degrees fan for 20 minutes sometimes a little bit more, maybe like 20 to 25. And then like I said earlier, these burgers are really quick to cook. They just need, where does it say? I'm just gonna pan fry them seven to nine minutes. So I'll do those in a bit. And then obviously beaners, you just heat them up pretty easy. So this is dinner both of us and these are the actually probably a bit easier to show you all one so this is the burger looks really weird on camera but it looks like an actual meat burger doesn't it mm. like when we first had these we cut them open we were like what the because it yeah. looks it kind of looks like it's really red like raw meat but they're really good yeah it's nice tasty tasty we've got some crispy fries and to be fair, that tin of beans is a really small, it's meant to be a one portion tin. There's loads in there. Yeah. So we just shared that. Right, so it's half eight now. I don't know why I'm talking so quietly. Um, sorry if the quality on this is really rubbish, but I was just filming on my camera and it ran out of battery and I can't be bothered to run all the way up to the top floor to go get another battery. So I'm filming it on my phone. So I always like to have a kind of sweet treat pudding type thing in the evenings just because I am a sucker for sweet stuff so I always like to make sure that I've got stuff in the house that I can have so I'm gonna have some Belvita with a cup of tea and just kind of chill out watch a movie or something I'm okay having tea before bed caffeine doesn't really affect the way I sleep or anything like that so I get that some people wouldn't be able to but it's fine for me other things that I do have as well, I always have some of these in the fridge. So these are just the Hartley's 10 calorie jellies. This one's apple and watermelon. I don't think I've tried that one. I normally get like the strawberry or I think the raspberry ones, which are really good. So if you do want something a little bit sweet, those are quite good to have. And I also sometimes have the wool soft scoop, but this one is a kind of light version. So per two scoops, it's only 62 calories. So obviously it's just like trying to make little changes like this, just to kind of keep my calorie intake down a little bit. 
other ice creams that I do like as well is like the Alpro ones. Alpro do a, I think it's a chocolate and hazelnut ice cream, which is really, really good. I do love that one. But yeah, that is it from me today, guys. I know that's been really random. Probably not the most organised day of eating. Normally I'd be a little bit more on it. I feel like my day's been all over the place today. But I hope that's given you a tiny bit of insight um, into my non-diet way of eating. And yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.